Changing the light bulb in a ceiling mounted light fixture such as this isn't exactly rocket science but is not without a trick. In this video I'll show you what's involved in getting to the light bulb without breaking this glass dome that covers the bulbs or this light diffuser. So, if you step up on a step ladder or a step stool or something that you're comfortable with and is safe to use, you get to see this one from up close here. This light diffuser or this glass is held in place by the metal clip, three of them, and this metal clip is screwed into the base there. This hole flexes away from the ceiling a little bit, it moves, that's fine. The screws are in the middle of this and the fixture bends a little bit. There's a second clip over here, works exactly the same way or mounted in exactly the same way and they are rigid, they don't extend out from the fixture. The third one is different and is springy. It moves out like so. So this is the one that needs to be moved. Let me just put you on the table here. Perfect. So, this one needs to be extended out enough so that it clears the edge of this glass dome. Tilt it down a little bit. Just, just enough to move this glass dome out from this clip and this clip. If you tilt this glass dome, this light diffuser, too much down, then the edges of it will be chipped by the rigid metal clips. Obviously that's something you don't want to do, but even if you chip the edges, you can put it back the same way, meaning the chip could be covered by the clip itself, so it's not showing. Putting it back is very straightforward as well. Extend this one out and place it gently with that, with releasing the spring slowly so it doesn't need to be banged against, against the edge of the glass by any amount of force. So, make sure that it's in, held in place, like visually sighted in, it's held by this one and this one, two of them, and then extend the third one out and put it in place. Now, even if the spring hits hard, it's not exactly hitting the edge of this glass diffuser because there's a little bit of play there, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch or two millimeters, something like that. But there's really no need to, just in case, no need to shock load the edge of the glass there and crack the whole thing. You might find that this spring-loaded clip is stuck. It could be, it could be needing a little bit of rotation or a little bit of side-to-side -side motion to it in order to, in order to be able to extend it forward, and it's fine. And of course, the whole fixture moves and bends a little bit here away from the ceiling that's fine because there's one bolt here in the middle holding the fixture so the edges are somewhat flexible that's fine it's not going to fall it's not going to collapse so that's how it works maybe i'll show you one more close-up on this spring-loaded clip here the this is how it looks, and it has a fair amount of play in it, so you can hear it, that it's not lubricated or anything, it's squealy, squeaky, so expect a little bit of resistance or a little bit uh, this being stuck, so just be patient. And you need to be able to hold your arms for maybe not extended periods of time, 
but you need to be able to be comfortable holding your arms out for whatever length of time this takes and you're balancing on a step stool or a leather or something and whatever you're standing on I'm standing on this chair so just like so if you're not comfortable stepping up and down on a chair like that then find something that you are comfortable with or find somebody who can help you so that's what's involved.